Okay, it's confession time. I have had this addiction to checklists for quite some time, and I decided that I needed to set some rules for myself so that it didn't get out of hand. <laughs> so I have my four rules for checklists. One is the one most often broken by myself and that is to limit the number of items that I write down on my checklist. Am I the only one that has this problem? I don't know why this is so hard for me but I am still working on it because I just tend to get so carried away. I start writing down the things that I really actually have to do and I get all idealistic in my head and I think oh yeah and if i finish that then i will do this and this and this and i start getting really excited about everything that i can accomplish that day and then i want to write down even more things and i list and i think yes i'm going to get all of this done but really that's just setting up myself for disappointment later on in the day when i've only checked off three things from my list that can be remedied by limiting myself to maybe only three things on my list because then i think to myself Wow, I checked off everything on my list and I feel like I was successful instead of having all of these undone things on a ridiculously long list. Like I said, this rule is so hard for me, but I've really been trying to make shorter to-do lists. And lately with having two kids, they've gotten shorter. So I try to limit myself to three big things or five little things to get done. I think this video is so funny because it it sounds like my checklist is like cookies, like I can't stop eating cookies, but I just can't stop putting things on my checklist. It's really the same thing for me. Rule number two has really, really helped me, and the rule is to stop working on my checklist as soon as Tyler gets home from work. That way, it's not getting in the way of our relationship, and... I can focus on him and focus on just enjoying time with my family once he's home. It can also give me extra motivation to know I have a time limit to get done the things that are on my list. I think if I didn't have this rule, it would be really sad because Tyler would get home and I'd be like, oh wait, 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 I still have all these things I need to do. Why don't you just go play with the kids and I will work, 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 and then I would never spend any time with my family. Okay, rule number three. This rarely happens because I break rule number one so much, but if I finish everything on my checklist, I do not write more things on my checklist. Um, I just feel like if I finish everything, I want to reward myself instead of giving myself more things to do. And it's not that like after I finish my checklist that I'm gonna like not be productive. It might just be a project that I feel like doing and that sounds fun to me rather than something on my list that I have to do. Rule number four is that I need to give myself a break. So I never make a checklist on Sunday. I just focus on spiritual things on Sunday. I usually don't make a checklist on Saturday either because I'm just trying to spend time with my family. Um, and sometimes on certain days, like weekdays, I will just give myself a break and just spend time with my kids and do whatever I feel like doing. So those are my rules for myself. I would love to hear how you limit yourself and hear about your strategies to find balance in your life.